All right. Well, welcome to the D. We're happy to have you here. That's right. Thank you for having me. How happy are you to be here? Um, happy as a kid in the candy store. <laughs> well, now tell me you're here to promote Redemption of a Dog. Tell me a little bit about that stage play. Uh, it's a play that, um, starring me, Tamar Braxton, Eric Benet, Demetria McKinney. It's a redemption story, um, sort of kind of like based roughly on my life and a few things that I went through in my life, not my whole life story, but certain scenarios and situations to get me to to where I am and the you know the temptations and the struggle and the life and the legacy and the whole love of fighting for what I believe in. And tell me what has it what do you think it has been that you have endured for so long? I don't know, I just do me, you know what I'm saying? So it's kinda hard to try to, you know, put some sort of remedy on it or ingredients. It's just I do me and I try to do the best me that I can and um you know, I studied a lot of greats before I was able to do what I'm doing. So I like to make sure that I'm doing me at all times and being different and unique and, and organic and genuine to myself. Well, with Detroit having our own, you know, great artists, there's so many that come from here. What artists from Detroit influenced you, if any? Oh, man. I mean, there's a lot of artists from Detroit that I enjoyed their music, whether it was Aretha Franklin, uh, uh, the Motown sound in general. Um, I mean Anita Baker. I mean it's some y'all y'all got heat the the uh, the Clark sisters the the whinings like I mean I mean where does it stop? <laughs> right, and we're still churning them out. And the other thing we're talking about is you mentioned Aretha Franklin. We're opening the Jazz Cafe tonight at the Music Hall. Think you're gonna be there? That's nice. What time? Shoot me the information. I'll see if I can slide by and change the aroma. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fantastic. Now, how did this arrangement come about between you and Jacarius? Um, I went to a, a stage play that he did called Set It Off, and um, I really enjoyed it, and I liked what he brought to the table. And um, I met with him backstage and just was expressing the fact that I had some ideas that I thought could work with me and him. And we began a brotherhood and a friendship, and from there we just started connecting, and I gave him my ideas and my story, and he put pen to a paper and created the idea and made it what it is, and... We just took it as a partnership and said, let's do something together. You know, a lot of brothers don't know how to work together, but we both know how to be team players. So I was welcoming him like he was welcoming me to his team. So it's a beautiful scenario. I can only imagine. I mean, I'm personally looking forward to seeing it. I know everybody in Detroit is looking forward to seeing it. Can you tell me a little bit about, I'm reading the information that was on the Jacarius Johnson website, and it says you're a multifaceted gangster rapper, family man, and man of God. Talk a little bit about that and what we're going to see on stage. Well, you're going to see a little bit of all of it because that's who I am, you know. The first time you heard me, I was a gangster rapper. That was a ex-gang member. And then through my career, I built a family. So I was a family man. And I always maintain my faith in God because that's why I'm here and that's why I do what I do. So it was just a matter of putting that in the forefront as opposed to being in the background because the, the music industry sometimes makes you hide that because that's not what they're selling. And when you watch the Redemption of a Dog play, you'll see that you'll see that highlighted as far as like what the true meaning of what I was doing and why I was doing it and how it got misrepresented, so to speak. And your wife, I mean, she stuck with you for, you know, through at all. Talk a little bit about her and how did you guys manage to endure all this that you go through in Hollywood? Well, you know, a lot of that is in the stage play Redemption of a Dog because you get a chance to see what she has to deal with and how she keeps me strong and how she's the backbone of everything that I do. But if you don't know it, you don't know it. You just see Snoop Dogg and you think he's a success story, but you don't know what the makings of is. The, the, the structure, the infrastructure to this is the wife, the backbone, because without her, I'd have lost my mind years ago and went crazy like some of these other rappers. Wow. Well, it sounds amazing. I can't wait to see it. Is there anything that I didn't ask you that you want to bring up? Yeah, my cookbook, From Crook to Cook, it comes out this month. Make sure you get you a copy of it. It got 10 fly recipes from the one and only Chef Boyard D-O-double-G. <laughs> <laughs> well, give me an idea. What's one of your favorite recipes? Uh, lobster Thermidor. Uh barbecue chicken with uh, potato chips fried into the batter, mm. fried bologna sandwiches. <laughs> I used to eat those when I was a kid. See what I'm saying? <laughs>
<laughs> yeah. Now I think I have everything I need unless I'm missing something, Linda. No, you're good. All right, great. Well, thank oh, you. October 25th through 27th. Okay, got that at the music hall. <laughs> All right. All my folks in the D, make sure y'all go get y'all tickets because I told you I ain't giving none out. When I do a regular Snoop Dogg rap show, I love giving away tickets. But this one, nah, I don't think so. <laughs> hey, let me ask you if we can get a, are you going to have any, well, we've seen a, another rapper in town meeting with Dan Gilbert. Any plans to meet with Dan Gilbert? Yeah, the owner of the uh, Cavaliers? Yes. Yes, Ice Cube was trying to connect me with him because I believe he has um, uh a helmet company that he wants to donate to my football league, which is like concussion protocol helmets that he make. And he wants to donate to my football league. That's one connection that I heard that Ice Cube said he was out here. So, Mr. Gilbert, if you're listening, holler at me. <laughs> All right, great. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. I have a question about your fried bologna recipe. Do you cut notches in the bologna so it doesn't bubble up? No, that you, that the key is you want it to bubble up. <laughs> My mom always did that. That's, that's the technique that, that's been here before we was here. Don't, don't ruin that, baby. That's Your mama did it, your grandma did it. Now you got to do it. I'm bringing that technique back to life. Uh. Pop it like it's hot. <laughs>